so uh, like uh, like i already have couple of docs in, in, uh, like uh, imported in unreal uh, like i'll check like what happened like why bridge is taking so much time maybe some issue so i'll check that so uh, right now as i'll show you with some uh, already existing rock like how they create <clears throat> those clip and everything the process Let it load. Which is compiling. By the time check some other box as well. Oh, yes, uh, we put this one. This one loads quite quick. Uh, so, you can see, it's a, like, if you zoom in, it's a quite a decent, uh, nice textured rock, right? So, something like this will get it from <coughs> Megascan. So now I'll bring it here and how to create the scene. One, please one more here. And because it should not look tileable, like tiled, rotate any of the direction and then place it like this alt drag create So you can see, if you zoom in, you really can't see the cutout. Unreal automatically creates nice blending. So this is how in game, all the environment scene are created. So all those uh, like rocks, what we do is, instead of creating everything from scratch or maybe the entire scene the huge scene we create it like this you can see there's a LODs are also there, so I can just simply create and see if I set a camera, it will give me this entire rocky cave effect. And if I want to like modify something, I can do that as well. Like suppose this section, I want to add something, I will resize the rock and push it outside, fill this section, and Suppose I want to uh, like, I want to like have more variation. I can modify the texture or I can use another rock instead of using one rock. And you can see it just one rock. It just one rock. So when you compile everything like this, nobody can identify, okay, this is uh, like, uh, like common, this is just one rock. Place it nicely, fill those sections with some other rocks, some other things, then some foliage and all, and it will look really nice. 
So like this, basically how we create environment will all those huge rock mountains and all, all those things you see, those are not basically created in Max or Maya. Those are we create like this, or there is something called landscape in Unreal. We can generate an entire landscape within Unreal without creating the actual mesh uh, in Max or Maya. If we are only creating some rock, uh, rock area, I mean, we have to do it by own, right? Uh, sorry, uh, exact, if, if I need to recreate some, uh, some of a scene, like a rock scene, hmm. I have to do that uh, in Max or Maya, or uh, what can I do for that? I, I, I like to recreate on a uh, environment, like uh, it filled up with rock. Yes. Yeah. We will create. We will create it. I'm just showing you one process how they do it. After okay. this, we'll create a rock in uh, like we'll okay. create one basic rock in Max okay. in Maya. Okay. Sorry, in Maya, uh, and okay. then we sculpt it in ZBrush and texture okay. it in Substance. We'll bring that okay. texture, bring that uh, mesh here in Unreal and use it like this. Okay. So I, yeah. I'm just showing you the process. I'm just showing okay. you the process and like we'll create, recreate it. We have to recreate. Okay. There's no shortcut. Like we'll just uh, download something and use it. No, we will, yeah. uh, like, uh, like we will follow the entire process and okay. we'll create everything manually. Like everything, okay. how, uh, how it is done in industry, we'll do it like that. Like we'll okay. use like, this, like I'll just show you the technique, how to create this okay. thing quickly. And nicely, this is how industry they follow that process, the game, how they create the game level. That's what I'm showing. Yeah. But all the yeah. rocks, all the props, everything in our scene will, will create from scratch. Yeah. So like what you can do, like now refine your model, refine your models, add details to your model, add detail and like uh, like do, do not create like 10 of this pillar, 10 of that pillar create only one pillar and then we'll import it and put it in Unreal and place it. This, that is how it works in environment. So uh, we'll, uh, like, uh, we'll sculpt this, we'll sculpt this and create nice texture and import it to Unreal and create nice, nice material and shade and everything within Unreal. Mm -hmm. We'll do that. Mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. So that's, it's yeah. clear, right? So uh, yeah, we'll do I, that. Um... Uh, uh, yeah, nothing. Uh, sorry, it's clear, right? Yeah, 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 I'm clear. Oh, okay. So, uh, refine your model, add details in the models in the model, uh, like all those like a little bit uh, like extruded parts, some small desi design elements, and then we'll start sculpting this thing. Add like uh, like uh, in the meantime, what I'll do is I'll start blocking out rest of the area. Small so like this section, there's a there's like few pillars in my uh, file. You can see I don't have those pillars yet. So I'll create those pillars. Then I'll create this basic this rock like base shape. That's base shape. Then we'll import it and place it there, and then we'll start uh, this thing. I'll start sculpting it in a high poly. Okay. And all those wooden planks of that path. I'll create it here. Uh, easily and that is also we'll do it in unreal we'll create only one section of wooden planks and then rotate and fit it in unreal directly okay so we'll do those things so like refine and add details like bevel few things here and there and uh, make like as much as detail as possible add those detail and like uh, this is like this is very basic blocking Still, I have, like you can see, slightly yeah. beveled it. This corner is really sharp. I have to bevel it slightly. I'll do that. Then this corner, I'll, I'll bevel it slightly. I'll do all those things. And then we will, uh, like, like the texture, uh, high, create a high poly, nice high poly. So here, we'll follow three different techniques of texturing. One is your seamless, styleable map for this kind of huge uh, surface. Okay. Then one technique is high poly, like create a high poly, uh, create a high poly and texture. 
for this kind of surface or maybe this kind of surface and there is one more technique called trim sheets gaming nowadays is really popular and nowadays is lots of games they are using this technique to create really good quality assets i'll show you a trim sheet example this one so you can see the texture is basically like this it's okay. a flat a square shape texture and have all the details so yeah. trim sheet is basically a texture map and the model they create based on the trim sheet like you have to add more loops and cuts to to create this detail so like suppose i'll show you like this section you can see this round curved detail yeah it's basically part of this section so that means in this arch i have a cut here you can see the same design you cannot see anywhere except this so i have a cut here and this okay. uh, this bent thing is generating from some other section like something like this section so you we have to cut and place it and make it straight i'll show okay. those techniques how to do it this is how in the, like nowadays uh, like we are creating all the textures uh, in game because you have only two maps see only two maps but the quality output is very good so in this uh, way you basically see same texture used on this map as well this uh, arch also on this arch also this bridge okay. yeah exact same thing we use here everywhere and create this very high quality detail texture so it okay. makes our life way easier and nice and don't get uh, like uh, confused by seeing all these broken pieces and things you can see there is nothing broken here but yeah. all these things are there in the model these are decal map or vertex painting okay. so we'll uh, use those things also so uh, we will do, do, do all the, like you create all this thing and uh, use it in our scene and create all exactly same same thing same detail thing and very good quality assets so do that you can see this small small things it's basically this section yeah then same thing here it's basically this section again then you have this design okay. it's this section okay right this you can yeah. see this box 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 it basically this section yeah so like this you have a like a trim sheet to use a trim sheet your model is simple but you have a lot of polygons there loops there and uh, most of the work you do it in uv okay. most yeah. of the thing you have to do it in uv not in okay. your modeling or texturing in uvs okay. you have to assemble on assembling in you have to smartly place uvs to get that detail so i'll sh yeah. show all those things all those techniques no need to worry we will create very good quality texture so as of now uh, like uh, refine your blocking start okay. adding details to your model and make sure yeah. it's mid poly not low poly okay. so make sure it's mid poly not low poly decent amount of detail in your model and okay. then import everything into unreal just like this and block okay. it out so okay. what okay. will happen when i start creating texture for this section i'll import it so by the time i finish my texturing i okay. just have to import and assign here so my scene will also be finished very okay. easily now okay. let's save yeah. some time so save okay. some time there and i'll optimize the entire process and you okay. can display the efficiency and quality of output both are equally important so mm -hmm. how to smartly manage your time how to smartly curl like, a uh, speed up the process that is okay. something also we need to understand so we'll do this so uh, you can see like it, it doesn't take a long time and you can see something is happening here i can see light shadow i can see texture it looks nice and uh, feel nice and we feel yeah. mo motivated to work hard right yeah. so yeah. like that we can do it so no need to worry so do it and okay. then i'll see you on um friday ha ah, friday yeah? yeah yeah okay then uh, refine it and then if you have any query any doubt anything in between you can send me message or mail or something and whenever you send me a message na just drop me a message in whatsapp sometimes i miss the mail 
So okay. just drop okay. me a message. I'll check it instantly. Yeah, okay. yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. And after this, I'll send you. I'll upload the videos and send you. I'll send you a mail. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. Good night. Yeah. No thanks. Bye bye.